Alfred had great taste, but I don't think there are any two pictures in his collection as superb as these two Degas. If you want the very best from Degas, you want it to be either a ballet dancer or a nude, and you've got one of each here. And they are both of supreme quality. The ballet dancers represent an incredibly modern approach to painting. They were done in 1878, but if you look at the composition, you will see how extraordinarily sort of wedged up in one side, if you like, the figures are. With a huge open space on the right-hand side, it's got this wonderful sort of arbitrariness, which is very much the product of the influence of photography. I think Degas was probably the supreme pastelist of the 19th century. The ballet dancer's picture came to Alfred when he bought it in the late 1970s, having only been really in one family's collection prior to that, which was the very distinguished Havemeyer collection, which was one of the great American collections of Impressionist art. The second picture, which is also pastel, is a supreme example of a nude it's seven years later, and it shows how he's moved on a bit. The sheer sensuality that he achieves with the medium of pastel, that extraordinary effect of flesh that he achieves, is something that I think only he could have done. It's his pursuit of realism, but his superb technique. If ever something was of museum quality, it's that nude by Degas.